website, protectthelegacy.ca. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your interest. We welcome your feedback through our online forum as well. We invite you to participate in our online forum. We're flight attendants, union officers, and committee members. We understand your job challenges and working conditions from all perspectives of seniority. We believe that we can best represent all factors of our diverse membership. We are the voice of reason and practicality. We offer solutions, not rhetoric. We will revamp and restructure your business, your union, into a functioning, fiscally responsible and effective enterprise. During my many years of working as a local vice president, the following topic has been at the forefront of member complaints, lack of communication. Using the latest technology is by far our best strategy to open dialogue with our members. I would also like to set up phone-in town hall meetings. Attendance at union meetings is important. However, sometimes people cannot attend in person. Having a phone-in option, therefore, will increase the chances of people attending and participating in meetings. An educated membership to an empowered membership. One way to increase knowledge is by setting up question and answer town hall meetings and committee-run education seminars. Issues that can be addressed include PBS, block rules, policy grievance updates, and explanations. This is what I think is one of the most exciting points of our platform. Our newly created position of Members Advocate is an elected position which will serve as a watchdog and as an ombudsman to monitor ASEX conduct with regards to the bylaws, the Constitution and the Code of Conduct, let alone our general ethical behavior. The Members Advocate will be provided with and have full access to the ASEX minutes and to the trustee reports. They will work in tandem with the trustee committee. They will have the freedom to recommend votes on anything they see fit as major issues. We will achieve the position of the member's advocate by immediately seeking a bylaw vote to include this new position. Subsequently, we will also be asking the members to vote on people that are willing candidates for this position. We hope to have this position filled by April 2013 if the membership is willing. We're opposed to the implementation of Bill C-377. This bill is going to cause unnecessary excessive paperwork for our component, resulting in increased costs. As far as we're concerned, the checks and balances are already in place. We don't see the necessity to reveal our financial position to our employer. Regardless of what you may think of the present or past administrations, I'd like to ask the membership one simple thing. I'd like to ask you to vote. This is your chance. This is your tabula rasa, your clean slate, the opportunity for you to express yourselves. In the past, in component elections, we've had a dismal turnout rate of approximately 25%. We turned that around with the votes on TA1 and TA2 last year with over 80%. I'd like to see this voter turnout to even surpass 80%. Whether you choose myself, Carmen and JP, or other candidates, I am asking you, please exercise your right to vote and choose carefully. Thanks. Wage indemnity is a very, very interesting point. We would like to bring the financial management of the wage indemnity under the component. This was one of our original trustee recommendations and is yet to be addressed. There are incredible cost savings putting the financial management of the wage indemnity with the component. I intend to perform a full audit on our operations, both current and past, during the first half of my elected term. Once and for all, members deserve a full comprehensive financial report. Too many financial questions remain unanswered. I intend to do this audit myself. I have the professional and educational experience to do so, and I will publish the results to the membership. Thank you again for visiting our website, and please remember to vote.